What is going on YouTube? This is MotoStart signing in. Today I'm heading into the office to do a commissioning ceremony for a future dentist and it just kind of had me thinking a little bit and I figured why not? You know, I'm uh, about to go help start off a military career for another individual and I'm going to share with you guys a little bit on the ride in why I chose to join the United States Army. So let's roll the intro and get on with today's video. Hard work, work. Hard work. Man fails. Hard work, work. Hard work. You got to do it right. Hard work, work, work. There we go. Hard work, work. Well, all right. Welcome back, guys. Thank you for tuning in to another video. If you are new to the channel, I bring you along with me as I merge my passions for photography and motorcycles. So if you like anything photography or motorcycle related and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button below. And we're at it. Don't forget to ring that bell icon to receive email alerts when I upload some new content. Like I mentioned in today's intro, I'm headed on into work to start off a military career for an individual who is going to dental school. Yes, the Army offers scholarships to those individuals that want to go to dental school, medical school, a DO program, what have you. There's several opportunities that are out there and I had no idea any of this was a possibility in the United States Army until the Army tagged me 10 years into my career to become a recruiter. But I'm headed into the office to, to do this commissioning and contract for this individual so we could get all the financials in line in order for him to start his dental program this upcoming August. And it had me really thinking, you know, I've had a lot of people ask me why I don't kind of talk a little bit about the military on my channel. And to be honest, guys, I have no idea why I haven't done it. I think maybe it's because I didn't want to, for lack of better words, didn't want to bore you guys with you know my military career or different types of opportunities that are out there and i didn't want it to overpower the channel didn't want you guys to think that every time you tune in to this channel i'm going to try to recruit you and put you in boots i mean that's that's not what this channel is about it's it's grounded solely on my passion for photography and motorcycles but you know the united states army it is who i am you know it's what got me to where i am today and i'm extremely blessed with my military career I'm blessed with all the things that it's done for me and my family. And I figured, why not, you know, let's start sharing a little bit more of, of me personally so you guys can kind of get to know me. And then maybe I might talk about something that you never thought was an opportunity and you might take it as well. You know, this past week, I met Sunny and Angie, the Badgers, from YouTube and she asked me the same thing. You know, you really should start, you know, maybe incorporating the military into your channel because it's it's unique you know not too many of us out here have the ability to to get on the bike as often as i do you know that's something that my new job in the army has blessed me with so i'm gonna definitely take advantage of it and after that discussion with the badgers you know it really i was like next opportunity i get i'll probably roll a video and we'll see how it goes so you guys let me know in the comments if you like to hear more about the military career and different opportunities and that kind of thing sprinkled in you know not all the time just every once in a while when to be honest I run out of other topics to talk about so why did I join the United States Army you know I'm, my story is a little bit different than most I joined later in life I was about 24 24 25 years old when me and my wife decided that you know this was the next step for us as a family we were battling life you know I was born and raised out in California and we were struggling to keep up uh, we had two children you know my oldest Addie and Wyatt you guys see them on the channel all the time we had them before the military and I was working at a financial institution doing personal banking loans home equity line of credits all that kind of stuff and that's not where I saw me in life at all you know growing up I was into sports I like to stay active I like to stay outdoors and that job I mean it was a great job it, it did tremendous things for us as a family but it wasn't me and so while I was working at that job, I was, you know, going to a local community college and I really liked medicine. I like to help people and I wanted to become like a paramedic slash firefighter. Now, I didn't understand what all went into this as a civilian sector medic. You know, I thought, you know, you go, you get your EMT and next thing you know, you're on an ambulance and you're treating patients and you're doing the cool things you see in the movies. But that's not the case. In the civilian sector, an EMT basic really could do vitals, O2 and transport. And I learned that after I went through my EMT basic certification and then started looking at paramedic school and what it takes to do that and then also get into like a fire academy to become a paramedic slash firefighter and 
the biggest thing that I had to overcome or the, uh, the obstacle that was in my way was I was a husband and a father of two already. I was mid twenties and I was looking at a career change. Now, I mean, I was still young, you know, it still could have been doable, but going into a fire academy or whatnot, I would have taken a huge pay cut and I couldn't afford to do that with two little mouths to feed. So I started looking at military recruiters. Now, I'll be the first to tell you guys, the United States Army, yes, it was up on top of the list, but it wasn't at the top of the list when I first started looking at a military as a career. I honestly tried to go into an Air Force recruiter before I went and talked to an Army recruiter. Now, the reason being, I have no idea. Maybe, you know, I didn't have too much education as far as the differences between the military, but I went into the Air Force recruiter. I told them what I wanted to kind of do. I wanted to do medicine if possible. Um, I had my EMT license. I didn't have a bachelor's degree. And what is going on up here, fellas? We got car with the hazards, lady on the other side. I don't know, oh well. But yeah, so I didn't have a degree. I couldn't go officer route. And the Air Force, what threw me off was I wasn't guaranteed the job that I wanted, right? Regardless of what I scored on the ASVAP, I wasn't guaranteed to do that unless, you know, I go through basic and I don't know how they really do it. If you guys are in the Air Force, let me know. I didn't really, you know, look too much into it because as soon as I found that out, I walked out that door, walked right into the Army recruiter and that was history. That was history. I told my Army recruiter I wanted to become a medic. I had my son Wyatt was actually on the way, so I had to do the, do the delayed entry program, which was really, I went and I, I swore my life away and they delayed my basic training. So that way, you know, I could be around and see my son be born and then hang out a little bit on paternity leave. And then off I went to basic training, you know? So really like the army over the last 11 years has done tremendous things. You know, like I mentioned, I joined around 24, 25. I had a decent job, you know, it was sustaining our family with a wife and two kids. But if I look back to that now, I don't know where that would have taken me. And we now have five kids. So I don't know what that would have done to us financially because in the army, you know, over the years, I have been blessed with promotions and moving up through the ranks. And as the family grew, my military career has grown as well. So it's worked, it's worked out. It's worked out really good for us. One of the other reasons why I decided to join the military is because of the benefits, right? A lot of people look at us and they're like, oh, you guys don't get paid nearly as much as you should, which I'll never argue that point. I mean, if you guys wanna pay us more, I'll be happy to take it. But to be honest, guys, as a soldier in whichever branch, we do get compensated fairly well. Now, if you look at the base pay and everything, as you move up through the ranks, obviously that's gonna, that's gonna increase. And if you're looking at you know joining now and you're coming in as like an E1, E2, which is a private in the United States Army, that base pay is pretty low. But I came in as a private first class, which is E3 on the pay grade, which is still pretty low. But with a wife and two kids, the big reason that I wasn't you know too worried about some sort of pay cut, you know, as far as base pay goes, was the benefits. Civilian sector, just for my wife and the two kids that we had at the time, I think I was paying about like $600 a month in medical insurance, right? And when I joined, <laughs> yeah, go Georgia. You know what I like about Georgia is Georgia takes the guys from the prison and they put them out here on the side of the road to make sure that these roads stay beautiful. Being from California, I never saw that. So that's kind of cool back there. But getting back to the benefits, TRICARE is probably one of the best medical insurance that I know. You know, there may be better ones out there and it's just what I know, guys. So I may be a little biased, but my medical, dental, vision, all that stuff is taken care of. You know, you do have small fees here and there. And then for the for the family, you know, you do have some co-pays when you start looking into dental and vision. Recently, my eyes were open because Addy, is due for braces, right? So I go in to the orthodontist and we're talking to them and we start doing some of the write-ups and the fees and how much those things are gonna cost us and I was scared. But when they ran our stuff and they found out that we were TRICARE, even the, the dental office told us, you know, the insurance that we have is one of the best ones that they see come through for dental. So if our dental is up on the top, which I was thinking dental was kinda, you know, on the weaker side, then 
you could only imagine what the medical insurance does for us you know being a family of five we have had three children in the united states army and not one time did i pay a dime for any of those three childbirths any of that for them haven't really paid too much now we do have a little bit stay there car we do have a little bit here and there for their medications but that's just because you know as a recruiter we're not near, near a military installation and we have some minor co-pays for medication which is whatever but before i keep going off on that tangent about the benefits that's a huge reason why a lot of people decide to join the united states army is from the tricare benefits alone base pay is great but the medical benefits is where it's at guys i mean my goodness last thing before i leave you guys today is the education right the army is the only career or the only organization that i know that will take you and train you for the job that they want to pay you for right like i already have my emt basic but i wanted to join as a combat medic so i had to go through basic training i had to go through advanced individual training which was i had to go through the emt stuff all over again but then they trained me as a combat medic too where i learned specific skills that's equivalent to paramedic LPN. Like I know how to do IVs, chest tubes, intubations, a, a variety of different medical treatments that in the civilian sector as an EMT, I would never be able to put my hands on. So the army is gonna take you and they're gonna train you in your job that they're willing to pay you for. And then too, to top it off, is they're gonna stretch out your scope of practice or they're gonna stretch out your skill set to make sure that you're learning and you're adapting and you're probably, you know, compared to civilian counterparts in that specific field, you're among the top, right? Which is going to transition when you decide that your time in the United States Army is over. I mean, the type of leadership and the skills, the training that you get is just far greater than anything else, in my opinion, that you could get out there. And it just, I don't know, I'm, I'm extremely happy with, with my career choice over these last 10 years. I know I got 10 years left before I could think about retirement. So I got a long ways, but we're gonna keep on trucking guys. I mean, it's been good. It's been good not only to me, but to my wife and to my kids. So I'm gonna stay in until until the army tells me that that's enough. You gotta go home, man. You gotta pack it up. So hopefully that's at least 10 more years because I ain't trying to have to worry about a second job when I'm getting close to retirement age. That's the other thing. Join at 24, I can do 20 and I could be retired by mid 40s and start working towards a second retirement. Just food for thought. I mean, pretty cool, pretty cool. But yeah, so that's that guys. That's my story. That's why I joined the United States Army. If you guys like today's video, go ahead and click that like icon. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click this subscribe button right here. And if you'd rather stick around and watch a few more of my videos, there's a video here and here. Like always guys, I really appreciate the support. Thanks for tuning in to another video. And this is Motorcycle signing out.